From your parents, grandparents, and even grandparents, there are certain traits or characteristics which you know you have acquired from them. Even plants and animals have traits which are acquired from the previous generation. This phenomenon of traits being passed on was observed and studied by scientists and scholars. This is explained by genetics. Genetics is the science which deals with how genetics control the biological characteristics. In this video lesson, we will predict the phenotypic expressions of traits following the patterns of inheritance. Gregor Mendel's experiments involved looking at traits that can be passed on from parents and predicting which of these appears in the offspring. Mendel began his experiment on peas to uncover the different sides of heredity. He chose peas due to its numerous distinguishable traits. Peas also grow fast and are easy to cultivate. His experiment on peas was considered as a systematic and large-scale experiment. There were seven traits of focus. Wrinkles of the seed, color of the seed, color of the seed coating leading to the flower color, shape of the pod, color of the pod, location of the flower, and the height of the plant. The experiment of Mendel revolved around observing garden peas. His observation started with chosen characters of the plant. A character is a heritable feature of an organism, such as seed color or hair color. How a character is expressed varies from one individual to another. A description of the character, such as green seed color or purple flower color, is called a trait. Mendel's observation formed many of the modern bases for the concept of inheritance. His experiments eventually led to the proposal of three inheritance laws, law of dominance, law of segregation, and the law of independent assortment. Law of complete dominance states that in a heterozygous individual, only one allele will be expressed and the other one will be masked. An allele is two or more genes that occupy the same position on homologous chromosome that covers the same trait. A dominant trait is the allele that masks the presence of the another type of allele. On the other hand, recessive trait is the expression being masked. The expressed or observable trait of an organism is called the phenotype while its genetic makeup or allele pair-up is called genotype. A capital or uppercase letter is used to represent a dominant gene while lowercase letters represent recessive genes. In a diploid organism, if the paired alleles of the character are the same, the genotype is described as homozygous. For example, Alleles pertaining to flower color represented as uppercase P or lowercase p can be homozygously paired as two uppercase P or two lowercase p. Since P represents the purple color, two uppercase P plants should have the phenotype purple colored flowers. On the other hand, white flowered P plant is homozygous for recessive allele and is denoted as lowercase p. Note that the only way for a recessive trait to appear is by acquiring homozygous recessive genotype. The homozygous purple and white pea plants are said to be true and pure breeds. In contrast, a genotype with two different alleles is called heterozygous. For example, when a homozygous purple flower is crossed with a homozygous white flower, the result is purple, denoted as uppercase P and lowercase p. This instance, the dominant allele is expressed, so heterozygous plants should have phenotype of purple flowers. Thus, two individuals may have the same phenotype but different genotypes. The law of segregation states that two alleles of a gene separate from each other to be contained in separate sex cells. These alleles will unite randomly during fertilization. If an offspring is known to be heterozygous for a single trait, it is referred as monohybrid. 
Test cross is used to determine whether an individual is dominant for a particular trait, is homozygous and heterozygous for that trait. In constructing a test cross, results are shown in a box known as the Punnett square. It organizes the genotypes of the individuals to be crossed. We can say that Punnett squares are similar to multiplication tables by how they are arranged. The square is arranged in a manner where alleles of one parent are placed on top and the allele of the other parent are on the right side of the box. The alleles on the right and the top are crossed together to show the possible expressions of their offspring. For example, using a monohybrid test cross, what are the genotypic and phenotypic ratios of the offspring of homozygous purple and homozygous white? The first step is to identify the genotypes of the parent. Based from the problem, the parents are homozygous purple and homozygous white. The alleles of the homozygous purple flower are placed on the top and the allele of the homozygous white flower are on the right side of the box. The second step is to fill in the squares to form all the possible combinations. In here, we can see that all of the offsprings are denoted by a combination of uppercase and lowercase p respectively. The last step is to summarize the results. Based from the test cross, the genotype of the offspring is 4 is to 0 or 100% heterozygous purple. And the phenotype is also 4 is to 0 or 100% purple. Notice that we did not indicate whether the offspring is homozygous or heterozygous because phenotype only showed the observable trait of the flower which is purple in color. Let's try another example. Using a monohybrid test cross, what are the genotypic and the phenotypic ratios of the offspring of two heterozygous purple? Let's identify the genotypes of the parents. Based from the problem, the parents are both heterozygous purple. The alleles of the parents are placed on top and on the right side of the box. The second step is to fill in the squares to form all the possible combinations. And lastly, to sum it up, based from the test cross, the genotype of the offspring is 1 is to 2 is to 1, or 25% homozygous purple, 50% heterozygous purple, and 25% homozygous white. And the phenotype is also 3 is to 1, or 75% chance of having purple and 25% chance of white offspring. Now, let's check your understanding. Using a monohybrid test cross, what are the genotypic and the phenotypic ratios of the offspring of two homozygous tall? You can use uppercase T to denote the dominant trait which is tall. You may pause the video for more time. Here's the answer. In the next lesson, we will discuss the dihybrid cross. If you like more science videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and always remember that you are all awesome.